Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson, our third and final episode in this series on posing suits. We're gonna transition over to bodybuilding. And I will say, Adam, I remember uh, when I got into the pro level, WNBF, all of a sudden I saw these pros who had been there for a long time and they were getting custom suits. They weren't doing off the rack, you know, out of magazine things. And, and I saw a big difference because, you know, the, the contours, the, the cuts in the back, how they even fit on the front of the hip so they're not just going straight across, you know, that can make a big difference, uh, especially as we discussed in the first episode, on your symmetry, your body style. I'm, I'm somebody who probably, you could say, has a little bit of a longer trunk because my, my chest is a little bit shorter. And so I look a lot different if I have those almost like a French cut type, you know, suit where it, the, the straps are going up to the hips a little bit more, especially mm -hmm. since my quads were so big, you know, that helped elongate them a little bit and little nuanced things like that. You know, what, what amateur bodybuilder would ever even consider that that could make or break a placing, but it really can. Yeah, Absolutely. And there's so many people, these, these shows are so close in margin with scoring, a suit really can make a difference. And uh, it's especially in, you know, bikini, that's a huge one. Um, bodybuilding especially as well. So really all divisions, it matters. But I agree, I always had the trunks that I kind of pulled up on my hips a little bit. I did have a little bit of a longer frame but I found if I just had the thicker sides on my trunks, it just, it, there was just something that looked so plain about it on me that you don't really want to notice the suit, but you want to notice that it accentuates your body type. And there was something about my custom designer that she nailed when she designed my suit back then that I, I don't really know what cut that was called, but I do know I had flex cut in the back, and that was something we wanted to accentuate, the fact that I had shredded glutes, so we definitely wanted that to show on stage, so she went with a smaller cut in the back, and had I not had that, I probably would have wanted to cover up my glutes and just leave the judges wondering if I had shredded glutes or not. Well, you know, that's something I mentioned earlier. And in bodybuilding, you're exactly right. You don't necessarily want to draw attention to the suit. You just want to make it work for you. And, and I, I see the opposite, but it's very, very, um, you know, just almost against the grain of logic, counterintuitive, that if you don't have the best, most striated glutes, then maybe you should kind of cover them up. But then you create so much material in width that you actually look like your glutes are bigger and maybe not as, as defined. So even if you don't have strided glutes, you're probably going to have enough muscle separation between the hamstrings and the glutes. And even as you flex, you know, your glute medius and minimus are going to pull the glutes in and narrow them out. So you'll see some contours there. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if you have a suit that looks too big, uh, you know, we've joked about this before, but it looks like you're wearing a diaper. Like it just looks yes. massive. It makes your hips look incredibly wider. Your waist look thicker. So even, and I had to learn this the hard way because I don't have easily strided glutes. So I did have to learn the hard way that the more narrow the cut I got, it actually made it look like it didn't matter. I still was in the game where my hips and glutes looked even more narrow because I was wearing a smaller suit. Right, absolutely. So for a women's cut, very, very quickly, are, are there any differences in a women's cut uh, in terms of bodybuilding that will change their body shape or, or just their symmetry? For bodybuilding, I think the scoop in the front is very important for women. And also, obviously, the back cut as well. Like you said, making, uh, for women, even harder to get striated glutes, right? And uh that back cut definitely makes a huge difference. And your your example of it looking like a diaper, if it's not the right cut, is perfect. Because I, I think we see that at every show still today because most guys buy the $20 pair of trunks off mm -hmm. of wherever they go nowadays. <laughs> All right. So I lied. I said this was going to be our last episode. But in my brain, I just I just totally missed – we need to talk about board shorts and even classic bodybuilding. 
So stick with us guys one more time and we're gonna go into a fourth overtime episode on this uh, posing suit series.